Howdy folks, how we doing? Alright, so welcome back to my channel and uh, today we'll be talking about the diesel filters and uh, how water can get inside your fuel tank and uh, if the water enters your fuel line, what might be the consequences? So first of all, uh, I think most of the diesel cars are equipped with uh, this uh, engine light. So a couple of days ago I got this uh, symbol on my dashboard and uh, it, uh, what it signifies is that you got water inside your uh, fuel line. So uh, now that uh, finally monsoon is over, but there's still a lot of humidity in the air. So let me just uh, uh, put it out there. Uh, WD-40 and diesel, they have this property, this soak uh, the uh, moisture from the air. So uh, even if you are not driving your car or if uh, like uh, even if your fuel line is completely intact and airtight, water can still get inside your uh, diesel because uh, uh, diesel has this property, you know, it, uh, it, so it soaks up the moisture from the air. So as the time goes by, uh, all these uh, diesel cars have this fuel filter and uh, most of the mechanics don't even know this, but uh, the diesel filter of your car uh, does not only filters the diesel, but it also separates the water from the diesel. So whenever you see this symbol, that means the reservoir inside your fuel uh, filter assembly, it has maxed out. So there's no more uh, uh, the water holding capacity of this uh, filter. Uh, it has maxed out. So uh, that's what it means. So a couple of days ago, I got this symbol. So I pulled over my car immediately. And uh, most of these diesel cars have this provision. They have this drain plug from where you can drain the excess water. So I'm going to show you how to uh, do that. Actually, I drained out water a couple of days ago, but I'm going to uh, still uh, show you the entire process of doing that. So this is the photograph you can see I took a couple of days ago when I drained out. You can see there was a lot of water. And folks, believe me that uh, uh, for these uh, uh, fuel injected vehicles, uh, these high pressure, uh, uh, these, these have a high pressure pumps uh, right over here. You can see this is the high pressure pump. So. Uh, water is really dangerous for your uh, compression for your auto engines because water is incompressible so if that water gets inside from this line these are the fuel injectors so if the water gets inside it can bend your connecting rod because water is incompressible so during the compression stroke water is not gonna get compressed so it's gonna put a massive pressure on your connecting rods so it can it can bend or break uh, the connecting rods uh, so bottom line is water it's bad for engine it can damage your engine so uh, this is the symbol you should be looking out for on your dashboard so I'm gonna show you uh, this is the fuel filter this is the inlet line and this is this over here this is the outlet line this goes right to the high pressure fuel pump right over here you can see these two hoses I put so uh, first of all we're gonna get started by plugging this out so in my case i only need a screwdriver a flathead screwdriver and an empty bottle all right i've uh, put a hole on the top of the cap so i'm gonna show you i'm gonna just remove this assembly let me zoom in so this is the inlet so i'm gonna disconnect this as well there's this clamp so it has been disconnected so next step would be just to simply pull it up just like this and there's a connector beneath it i'm gonna disconnect it as well so you can see this is the drain plug. Let me just focus on it. So this is the drain plug. Most of the uh, uh, diesel filters have this provision. So right over here in a, at the bottom, let me just... So this is what your diesel filter looks like. This is the outlet. We don't need to remove it. So <clears throat> this is the reservoir area. So when it, whenever uh, this area maxes out with water, uh, this sensor over here, the, that one that was beneath it, that connect is over here. So it's, uh, it's gonna uh, illuminate this symbol on your dashboard. That means uh, you're gonna need to drain the plug. So most of the cars have uh, uh, this sort of provision. Uh, some of the modern cars like uh, Maruti Swift or uh, and other models, sometimes the drain plug is situated at the bottom. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. All you're gonna need is an empty bottle. Open the cap. So I already drained out the water inside it a couple of days ago but I'm gonna I'm still do it just for the sake of this video so let me just uh, get a better angle okay so I have uh, placed the bottle over here I'm gonna align this so this is where the uh, water is gonna come out you can see this right over here this is a flathead screwdriver we're gonna completely remove this uh, nylon piece and uh, let me just 
All right, so here we go. I'm gonna just remove it using screwdriver and you'll see. Drain it out. I like to do this process after every 500 kilometers because there's a lot of humidity in the air. So <clears throat> I like to clean my air filter after every 500 kilometers and I like to uh, drain out the diesel filter after every 500 kilometers along with the uh, other maintenance. I'm going to show you in a couple of minutes. So you can see this is the feature of uh, your diesel filter assembly. Shake it up real nice. So uh, I think it's out. I'm gonna put this back on. Uh, I'm gonna tighten it up, real nice. I mean, a lot, uh, a lot of mechanics like uh, they overlook this feature, and uh, uh, during uh, regular maintenance, they don't even check up. Uh, the, fuel filter so you can see this is the diesel that came out and uh, at the uh, if it has some water it's gonna settle at the bottom of the uh, bottle you can still still have some water let me just focus on it you see at the bottom right over here so I'm gonna show you uh, uh, this was the major reason I put a hole in the cap so let me just grab the cap I'm gonna put it inside, turn it upside down, and we're gonna go to. We're gonna drain out the water, and uh, the rest of the diesel, I'm gonna put it back inside the fuel tank. So let me show you. There's a little bit of water down here, so I'm gonna release my finger, and uh, water is gonna come out. You can see. So that's enough. So the rest of the diesel. I'm gonna put it inside the fuel tank, all right? So, I'm gonna just do it right now. I mean, this was, there, was, uh, there wasn't any water really, but uh, like I said before, this is the picture I taken last week, so to uh, do this process after every 500 kilometers I mean I like to do it after 500 kilometers and uh, now that we're done I'm just gonna put everything back into this place join this connector and put it inside just like that different vehicles have different locations and uh, let me connect the intake. All right, we're done. And now the next step, we're gonna turn the ignition on two or three times to let the air bleed out from the system. It's a CRDI, common rail diesel injection. So I'm not really worried about, because you can see uh, this engine is really it's a bs4 engine you can see these return lines so i'm not really worried about any air getting inside the system so within five or ten seconds it all uh, automatically bleeds out any air you can see let me just show you the path this is the intake for to the diesel filter this is the outlet and it goes to the inlet of the high pressure pump and this is the return line from the diesel high pressure and it goes into this assembly over here uh, this is a dead end actually, I put a bolt over it, actually this is a dead end so don't worry about it. And this is the return line from the fuel injectors, you can see over here, the same as Maruti Swift. So these are the high pressure line, this is the rail. So <clears throat> for the next step, you're gonna turn the ignition on uh, two times, you hear this noise. Again. 
Right, so that was one of the two main things I like to do and uh, number one was that, number two is uh, cleaning the air filter. So there are four screws over here, I'm going to remove that and I'm going to show you how to clean your air filter at home. So this is the air filter, so all I like to do is uh, just get it on the ground a couple of times. Uh, this is the intake side, this is the uh, uh, engine side. So I'm gonna, I like to do this, you can see after 500 kilometers. This is the kind of dust that comes out. So you like, you can see there's a lot of dust emitting from it. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna need a minute. So, <coughs> damn, it's kind of dirty. Okay. That's enough. You can see, I mean, this amount of uh, actually, I blew it off. Uh, there was a lot of uh, uh, soil and dust inside it, so this can really clog up your engine. And uh, let's just put it back now. I'm gonna put the screws in, very nice. Make sure this rubber portion has aligned. Okay, so the air filter is back in its place. So there are some few checkups I like to do after every 500 kilometers, like uh, you know, I'm checking the engine oil level, which is good. I checked it this afternoon. I like to check the engine coolant level. Make sure it's nice and clear. There aren't any contamination because uh, it, if it's turning to muddy color, then uh, chances are you might have a blown head gasket. So this is good. Our steering fluid level this is this seems to be good as well you can see right inside so I like to check the brake fluid level this is good as well it's dot 4 so it's transparent you can see and I like to top up the windshield to wash your fluid this is low so I'm gonna top it up as well for the windshield washer, I like to use the distilled water or RO water. So <clears throat> let me just drop it up. They already poured uh, two packets of uh, Abro windshield cleaner inside, so we don't need to put it anymore. So another thing I like to do is check for any any fluid leakage beneath the uh, oil chamber, any kind of fluid, power steering, the engine coolant, engine oil, the brake oil, check for any uh, leakage so we don't have any and uh, check for the tire pressure, just a physical examination of all the car, we're good. I'm also running a stage one map in this car. Actually, I'm not getting enough time these days. It's gonna be a long video. I'm running a blue optimized map inside this car. I'm actually getting a better performance and a better fuel economy, like 18 to 20 kilometers per liter. Let me just see the tire pressure. It seems to be good. So I like to turn on the car and uh, Make sure so make sure everything is working this is just a 500 kilometer check your power brakes power steering power windows 
all four of them make sure your power meters are working as well yeah it's good and uh, make sure everything is fine your reverse gear cameras both of them I'm running a dash cam inside it let's see so this is just a normal checkup make sure your electronic items are working your headlights your tail lights your brake lights are they fine your blinkers your headlights that's fine Off. I also have this uh, OBD scanner. I like to scan for any ECU codes. I also like to scan for any fault codes if there are any. Got this OBD connector over here. So this is just a normal procedure. So make sure everything is fine the trunk everything it's closing and all center locking this was just a 500 kilometer checkup uh, you should do it just turn the key off my top two priorities are to clean the air filter and drain out any water inside the fuel filter because really important you should not have any water inside your diesel line uh, there might be two reasons number one uh, uh, some gas station in India uh, they get careless and uh, they also might have this contamination water contamination you know uh, unintentionally because uh, regardless diesel soaks up the moisture in the air and number two you might have some leakage air leak inside the diesel line the cup and uh, number three like I said before diesel doesn't matter uh, whether you have an airtight fuel line diesel also always soaks up the water inside the air right so this is just the normal procedure I like to do after every 500 kilometers I do the same with my motorcycle I like to do the chain maintenance the check the engine oil engine coolant level any abnormality the headlights the electronic items so let me know in the comment section below what do you think about it actually the main purpose of shooting this video was to show you the diesel filter because the water uh, under no circumstances it should be getting inside the combustion chamber uh, it can bend your connecting rods and reduce the engine life alright so thank you for watching this video folks goodbye